British Columbia is home to some of Canada's biggest ski resorts. One of them is Sun Peaks. That's something you see every day, right? We are Nat and Max, and in this video, we'll show you guys where to eat. <laughs> where did it go? We can't be on fancy restaurants. <laughs> where to sleep, and what's in Canada's 4,000 acre ski resort. Our day started really early because we wanted to grab some breakfast before starting a five hour road trip. This is two cream, one sugar? Two cream, one sugar, and this is vanilla. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Thank you. So for breakfast, we wanted to grab some Krispy Kreme since it's on the way. Here in Lower Mainland in Vancouver, we only have one Krispy Kreme, and it's pretty far from where we live, so might as well, right? Yeah. So this isn't exactly the healthiest breakfast, but I think it has enough sugar to boost our day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's so soft. It's been so long. Mm -hmm. Nitro drive five hours to Sun Peaks. It's currently negative three, so we had to put on our jackets. I think we're about an hour and a half, two hours into our drive. Mm -hmm. This is a small town called Hope, and it's in between Metro Vancouver and our destination. And wow, just look at these mountains, right? It's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's Good thing there's a convenient save on foods with your public washroom. Now we're off to Sun Peaks. I think we're going on a different route right now. So our original intention is to take Highway 1 to Kamloops and eventually to Sun Peaks. But since stopping at Hope, Google Maps is directing us to the Kokihala Highway, which is a more shorter scenic road. So the scenery is all nice, but it's pretty known to have a windy road with sudden weather changes. And right now the weather is fine and we do have like winter tires and all, but let's hope it stays like this. <laughs> so I think we're officially in Sun Peaks, but we can't see the sign because it's buried in snow. So now we have to look for the village and find some parking. We made it! <laughs> so we kind of parked in the general parking area here, which is free. So one thing to note about Sun Peaks is they offer free parking. It's about a two minute walk to the actual village. The goal right now, the mission right now, is to find some food because we are starving. <laughs> <laughs> and it's lunch time, so let's go look for food. So we are gonna go explore the village a little bit later after lunch. But it's currently snowing and I think it's negative three right now, right? Yeah, it's so cold. <laughs> For lunch, we decided to grab some burgers here at Massa's Bar and Grill. It's one of the resto bars in front of the ski lift. Wow. Thank you. So I ordered the Massa's burger. This is, I think, their in-house burger. I also have a side of french fries with it. I also got the same with that, but I added some mushrooms and cheese. And put a side of chickpea stew soup. Originally, Max wanted the mushroom burger but she switched because there was no actual beef on it. It just shows how meat lovers we are. <laughs> yes. 
course, I love ketchup. One thing I noticed is the bun is pretty small. <laughs> what is... Really good. The bun is very crunchy. It's kind of like a tomato soup. It's very tasty. I like it. It's kind of like chili. I know that we just had lunch. But I'm already thinking about dinner. <laughs> already? We just ate! Because we have reservations for tonight for Fondue's Tube, which is a place here known for their fondue. But for now, let's explore the village. This is the Sun Peaks Village. It's not that large, but it has that touch of cuteness in it. Well, last year I got everything that a man could really need. Found a quattro porta S Maserati sitting under my tree. There's definitely a lot of European influence in the buildings. I guess most ski resorts that we've been here in North America has that theming, right? Yeah. Whistler, Vancouver, and now Sun Peaks. So here in the village, you can find a collection of souvenir shops, local shops, restaurants, and lodges. This is their centerpiece right here, the clock tower. Look how thick that is. I don't think they cleared the snow on top of the roofs here. I must have like a good three... Is that three feet? I think so. It's so thick. It's like an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Come to think of it, every roof in this village has a lot of snow. Babe. Yeah? The snow is so thick, it looks like a mattress. Oh yeah! <laughs> Just like a giant bed. I got you, little guy. Sorry, but I think I can't, I can't remove the ice. It's hard, <laughs> but the top is pretty fluffy. I have no fingers! <laughs> <laughs> so here at Sun Peaks, there's generally a lot of lifts for everyone. There's like conveyor belt for people that wanted to learn to ski and snowboard over there. And these are the main lifts right here. It's quite busy here today because it's the long weekend and generally Max and I are down on doing skiing and snowboarding during this time. But we're happy to skip due to COVID this year. Although it's quite busy here at Sun Peaks, I think the distance between the skiers are a little bit better. So, do you want to go snowboarding here? Uh, sure! Yes! <laughs> Help us! Sounds fun! <laughs> <laughs> now we've seen the village during the day, it's time to see it at night time. So, the sun has set, and it's time to fondue. It's fondue time! Fondue time! <laughs> <laughs> That's something you see every day, right? Hi! Hi! Are we here? So this is, I think, this is going to be our fondue setup, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know what we're having? I think I want to try some bison tonight. Bison. <laughs> we're going to get the meat fondue. We have that. Do you do photography for like a hobby? Uh, we well? do a little bit of YouTubing. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Can I ask what your channel is called? Yeah, yeah it's, it's called, it's, Matt, it's and called Matt and Max. Matt and Max, beautiful. That's so <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Would you guys like me to tell you a little bit about the cooking times for your meat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, please. So we have the beef on your side, bison in the middle, and pork here. Yeah. I recommend the beef and bison for roughly two to three minutes in the broth, and the pork for five. The sauces as well, the yellow is a curry, the creamy one is a dill garlic aioli, and the brown is barbecue. But feel free to make it your own, guys. Enjoy. Right. Thank you. Yeah, try the beef. I can see it. Where did it go? We can't do fancy restaurants. <laughs> you guys can tell me that this is our first time doing fondue. <laughs> the only fondue that we know is cheese fondue. Is this the cheese? Oh, no, 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 that's the meat broth. So we initially thought that the meat is going to be dipped in the cheese and it's all just going to come magically. <laughs> It doesn't overpower at all. Just go fuck you guys. Yeah. And then I hope. 
The meat is somewhat chewy, but it's kind of like beef, but more tastier. Very thin, thinly sliced, and it's very flavorful. And you didn't run away. You smiled and walked my way. Do I shouldn't let you? To feature that in Max, the proper etiquette to do fondue is to stab the meat and don't let go with the stick. Just leave it there. Wow. Even though it's late, it's late in the day, it's still Valentine's Day, and I wanted to make sure that you have flowers today. Thank you! <laughs> you know why Holiday Inn was phoning me earlier? Uh-huh. <laughs> they were telling me that my request was here. Oh, that's why. <laughs> there was no way I was gonna get some flowers in Sun Peaks and on the way during the drive, so... And we were out pretty much all day. <laughs> Okay, so we are now checked in here in the Holiday Inn Express in Kamloops. We chose to drive 45 minutes instead of staying in Sun Peaks because it's way cheaper here in Kamloops. I think this room, we booked this room for about $86, which if you book in Sun Peaks for a night, it'll cost you probably around $300. Wow, that's pretty expensive. Yeah, so we do recommend if you can drive at night, we do recommend just driving back to here to Kamloops for some more options in hotels. So make sure you guys tune in for the next vlog because we have another day at Sun Peaks and we are going dog sledding. So if you guys are interested in dog sledding, come back next vlog and we'll show you guys around on how Sun Peaks does it. Meanwhile, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! There's definitely a lot of European influence. <laughs> I think it can, we can cook it a little more, but that tasted rare. It stinks! <laughs> <laughs>